Have you been victimized by Jeremy Financial Education? Have you paid this man that you see thousands of dollars to learn how to quote unquote pick stocks and then go ahead, follow him and buy some of the most unprofitable share diluting garbage on the planet? If that is you, if that describes your situation, you may be entitled to compensation, but not really. Welcome back. Let's talk about a new Jeremy Financial Education victim support group that has been formed on Facebook. There is a very nice gentleman that reached out to me and was willing to share his story, which we are going to cover in this video. But he also decided to form a group called Financial Education Jeremy Morning. When I publish this video, I will have a link in the comments below where you too can join the group. I'm in there and I hope to see you soon. Now in this group, we're going to cover every single disgusting thing that Jeremy does because there are there is a very silent majority out there that is probably embarrassed that's probably feels guilty for giving Jeremy money and then buying a lot of the stocks that he talked about and losing money hand over fist a lot of you may be embarrassed and I get it people have pride I understand if I fell for this I would be upset too and I would be scared to come out this is a safe space okay <laughs> it's a safe space where you can come and post all the issues that Jeremy has caused with you and talk to similar people who have also been screwed by Jeremy Lefebvre so here's our founder Francis Kong and he's done some interesting things already coming soon Lefufu stock tracker and welcome anyone to add his picks so here we have a Lefufu stock tracker that he's compiling together where he's gonna show you some of the massive losses that you would have realized had you bought these stocks when Jeremy first started pumping them. Absolutely wonderful. He's got a video that I posted about his eBay account, about a, uh, a Jeremy Lefebvre trophy that was posted on eBay. He's got people, he's inviting people to share experiences with financial education. And he says the purpose of this group is to document misinformation made by Jeremy Lefebvre, aka Financial Education Jeremy, and inform such information, his private stock group members and YouTube followers, and hopefully help them to avoid suffering financial losses due to his irresponsible actions. This man right here is a fraud. Let's go ahead and read Francis Kong's story, which he has given me permission to share with everybody in the audience. This is very heartbreaking. For sure, full disclosure, this is not my real name, as I don't want to disclose my identity publicly, especially on this matter, but the rest is true. I am a fine, I am a Canadian living in Vancouver, home of very good food company. I am in my 40s with a young family. Both my wife and I are working professionals, i.e. we both have real jobs. Jeremy should take notes on that one. That can sustain our life financially, or else we would have been very screwed, just like many others from Jeremy's Discord. That's a good observation. If you have a full-time job and you and your spouse make a ton of money, you can you can recover from most financial disasters. As long as you work hard enough, pay off your debts, and recuperate the losses that you've suffered buying a bunch of stocks. But if you don't make a lot of money and you listen to Jeremy and you took whatever little money you had and you lost it all, that's when it becomes very hard to recover. I started to follow Jeremy around early 2019 and joined his paid Discord in February of 2020. Oh, perfect timing. <laughs> had some winners. Cake, Revolve, Upwork, Tesla. I mean, Jeremy has had some winning stocks. I'm not going to say every single stock, but trust me, that clown has underperformed the market. But the losers were the ones that really screwed me off. Very good food company, Tattooed Chef, and Voyager. Very good food company, imminent bankruptcy. Tattooed Chef, imminent bankruptcy. Voyager, bankrupt. I smelled something wasn't right. But I was on the fence since early 2022, as I stopped buying the dip on Tattooed Chef, which Jeremy was preaching. In fairness, I had some bias towards Very Good Food Company, as this is a local company, and I thought I did the research, which turned out it wasn't the right way. It wasn't a lack of effort on my part, but rather confirmation bias and false sense of security when listening to Jeremy, as he is very good at making it describing something crappy like Tattooed Chef as gold. He is. This is what I'm telling people. You need to understand how to read these financial statements. They don't predict the future, but they give you a good indicator of the past financial performance of a company, and they can help you screen out companies that are highly speculative and garbage, frankly. I recently left the group in February after my annual membership It was up. I did not pay as much as many others do. I paid $600 a year. Well, <laughs> I guess you could... So this wasn't really the loss. It was his investments that really screwed him which was still a lot, but not in the thousands. My perspective is Jeremy is incompetent in analyzing numbers and lazy. Of course, he has no idea what he's doing. Y'all can watch 100,000 videos I made about this clown. I wouldn't consider him as a scammer pre-COVID, 
grifting, sure, but as he got more and more lucky with the stock picks and more and more joined his course's discord, he started to get greedy and at the point of no return when things went south. I think individuals, we are all responsible for what information we consume and make a logical decision. Up till middle last year, I still did not put a lot of blame on Jeremy, even though I agreed his picks were trash. However, seeing how deceptive Jeremy has become as his picks are getting more and more worse, I do realize he is a dangerous public figure. I'm glad you realize that. Jeremy is insanely deceptive. He will hide his losses, he will highlight his winners, and he will make you believe that he actually beats the market. If you call his organization, or at least when I called his organization, and other people have called his organization, the minion that you talk to tells you that you can get 30% or you can expect to get 30% compounded annual returns, which is the average return of the members in the group, which is complete and utter BS and a lie. And that is frankly a scam. Okay. Now, how much has this poor gentleman lost? FYI, I just filed realized loss of 170,000 Canadian dollars, 170,000 Canadian dollars. Outrageous. So like I said, I will send everybody an invite to join this group. We should probably allow comments. I'll email or I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll message Francis about that. We should probably allow comments. And we need to have as many people in here as possible sharing information. And this could grow into a really cool group. I'm, I'm really serious. So, uh, Francis, thank you for selling, uh, sharing your story. I hope this group uh, grows into something substantial. And I hope we can save some people from getting screwed by Jeremy Lefebvre. Talk to you later. Cheers!